what's going on gamers? Today, we're going to be going over how to play and even how to install Mine Colonies on your Apex Minecraft server. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every tutorial we upload, just like this one. Here at Apex Hosting, we love everything about villages, but we get if you want more control over the villages in your world. Sadly, in vanilla Minecraft, you have no option. This all changes with Mine Colonies, a building mod that'll put Bob the Builder to shame. This mod features new custom structures and insane job opportunities for the NPCs that live in your town. Use cozy presets and build beautiful houses and great guard towers to build an immersive world and have more interaction between the townsfolk. Downloading the mod is surprisingly simple. Just go ahead and hop onto the Mine Colonies CurseForge webpage, which of course we're going to link in the description of this video. Now at the top, click on the Files tab to view all the downloads. You might have to scroll down a bit on some pages to find View All. When you click on View All, it's going to take you to a page where you can sort by game version. Make sure to select the one that you need. For today's example, we're going to be using 1.18.1, but as long as Mine Colonies is compatible with your server, you're good to go. So once you've found that compatible version, here's our 1.18.1 version, click on the download button to the right. Once it's downloaded, you should probably click and drag it to a place that's easy to remember, like a folder or your desktop. Here, I put the mod with the dependencies, which we're going to show you how to find right now. Now, if you haven't been able to tell yet, the dependencies are needed for you to be able to use Mine Colonies. They say it as much as they can on the web page, and we're telling you now that you need the dependencies for this to work. Now, there's four of them, and they're pretty easy to download. On the screen here, I'm taking you through the process of downloading them. And if you follow along, you're going to become a modding baby genius. Basically, all I'm doing is I'm heading to each mod page, which of course is linked in the description below. And all I'm doing is I'm clicking on file and then sorting by view all. And then I'm selecting the one that's the correct version for my server. And at the end, I'm going to have all of the files, structurize, multi-piston, block UI, damum or mentum, and mine colonies all in a folder with the compatible versions downloaded. So now that all the mods are in a folder, they're ready to be uploaded onto your Apex Minecraft server. For your server install, all you need to do is hop onto your Apex server panel and then of course, stop your server. Once your server has come to a full stop, you can scroll down to the game file section part of the page. Then click on the drop down, and in the drop down, you can either type in F O R G E or scroll up or down to find a Forge version that's compatible with the mods that you downloaded. For us, it's just 1.18.1. Then click on the Forge 1.18.1 version, and it's gonna take you through some prompts. All you need to do is make sure that you create a new world because you want those mine colony worlds, of course, and then when it prompts you to restart your server, make sure that you click on restart. And once your server does go online, make sure to click on stop. You want your server to be offline before we upload the mods. So once your server is fully offline, then just click on FTP file access and log in with your information. Here, all you need to do is find the mods folder, then click into it. Then click on upload in the top left and open up the folder where you downloaded all the mods too. Click and drag all of them or click the first one and then shift click the last one and move them over to the upload part of the page. What you're looking for is for the server to say uploaded five out of five files and you want all of them to say 100%. Once all of your files are fully uploaded, you can click on the name of your server at the top of the page. Once you're back at your main server panel, just restart your server. 
The client install is also super easy. If you don't know what CurseForge is, it's a super useful tool where you can install mod packs or even make your own, which is a lot of fun. If you don't know how to install CurseForge though, don't worry because we have a guide on how to do so. That of course is going to be linked in the description of this video. But once you've gotten CurseForge installed onto your device, all you need to do is hop into your My Mod Packs tab and click on Create Custom Profile. What this is going to do is make your own mini mod pack. And we're going to be able to install Mine Colonies by just installing the Mine Colonies mod. See what CurseForge does is it downloads all of the dependencies for you, which is super useful and cuts out a lot of the clicking that can tend to annoy new users. You're going to be prompted to adjust the settings of your mod pack. This can be stuff like adjusting Forge, Fabric, changing the name of the mod pack, or changing the game version itself. From here, all you need to do really is select the version that is compatible with the mods that you've downloaded for your server. For example, we know that we have 1.18.1 and we know that we're on Forge. Now, all we need to do is click on create and it'll make the mod pack profile for us. That way we don't have to install Forge on our devices and we don't have to download the mods manually. Now just click into this profile, then click on add more content. Here, just type in mine colonies as in one word and then hit enter. Now just click on install to the right of mine colonies. Depending on your internet, this should either happen in a blast or it might take a few minutes. Regardless, once you click back, you should be able to just click on play on your profile because it should have downloaded all of the dependencies for mine colonies and mine colonies itself. Super fast process. Once you know what you really ended up doing, when you first spawn in, nothing is going to be too different right away. You're first going to need to make an outpost that allows you to obtain the needed tool. These come in the form of the pie camps and ships. One of the first items you're going to need to craft is one of the two. Both of these have the same result. However, one is meant for large bodies of water and the other is meant for flat land using either boats or chests. Craft whichever one works for you. For the ship, it's just boats in a U, so that's two on the left, one in the middle bottom, and then two on the right. This is simply just gonna make a boat that you're gonna have to place down with the placement control. The placement controls aren't super complicated either. Upon attempting to use either the supply item on a block, a new interface is going to pop up. This GUI or GUI is going to allow you to change the palette of blocks as well as allow you to move and rotate the supply structure to your preferred preference. If you don't have a ton of visibility, you can press escape to close the menu and then right click just to open up the GUI once again. And then you can use the top arrows to move it in front or behind where it was originally placed. And then the left moves it to the left and the right moves it to the right. Then once you're done, simply click on the green checkbox to place the structure. If you get some errors though, don't worry because all you need to do is just replace it. Once you place down your, uh, what did I call it earlier again? Once you place down your outpost, <laughs> You're going to either have a supply camp or a ship placed. Now you can enter it to find a chest. This chest will have the two most important tools in this mod, the build tool and the town hall. Take both of these items and find the location where you wish to begin your town. You can do this by equipping the build wand and then in the top left, changing what you're building. You can also use the middle box to change the style. Optionally, you can use the top right to see the various upgrade levels. Like before, all you need to do is position the building using the tools, you know, up, down, left, right, B, A, B, A, start, you get the, and then, and then in that case, you actually get the end and you win Minecraft if you, if you do that. And then you, and then you check on the green box. And when you place down the block, it's just going to leave the town hall block. Right click it, 
and then click on create colony to begin. Within a few minutes, your citizens are just gonna start spawning, allowing you to really begin. You make a builder's hut, and then you place that down with a different builder's wand, and this block is gonna allow you to manage the workers, and you can use the build options to start making your hut. From here, you can visit the Mine Colonies wiki page in order to view all of the available huts that can be made for your town and the style. As you continue to expand your village, you might find yourself being bottlenecked and need to upgrade further huts. In order to increase construction speed, you're going to need more workers, but you all are going to need citizen houses to increase population. It can be pretty difficult to get started as you're going to need to provide tools, food, and items to your workers manually. But over time, everything can be automated and optimized. With everything you now know about mine colonies, how to install it, you can get started and begin creating your empire. Well folks, we hope you liked this tutorial, and as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.